Well, now a very severe typhoon Donos continues to push towards Okinawa, Japan here right around noon on the 7th of October 2013. This storm system is not one to be taken lightly. Already the outer rain bands bring in tropical storm strength winds as of noon. And you're going to be seeing, wow, these uh, Category 2 to Category 3 typhoon strength winds in some of these outlying islands just north of Okinawa, Hanto, and along the northern tip of Okinawa here going into the afternoon, the evening hours. So definitely a very severe storm system. This is just going to be a quick update on this as it does approach the southern Japanese islands out here. With winds already reported gusting up and over, uh, while well, tropical storm strength, but up and over typhoon strength in some of the islands a little bit farther there towards the east. JMA now has it at 100 gusting up to 140 knots. The good news and the saving grace, at least at this time, the center of circulation, that very well-defined eye wall you were just seeing on radar imagery is going to remain off the northern half of Okinawa Hanto. So that is good news because that core of the destructive winds are, are very intense in the storm system and definitely very, very serious for those people out here in the northern periphery. But the bulk of the population of Okinawa actually lives on the southern end of this island, and you're going to be missing the heart of this storm. You're still going to be seeing tropical storm strength winds, uh, low-end typhoon strength winds as we go through the afternoon and the evening hours out here, but really those destructive uh, storm, uh, those destructive winds uh, we are talking about out here, uh, those are going to remain farther off there towards the northeast. So good news there. I know a lot of people heading home now. I think the military released everybody a little bit too late, especially if people are heading towards the north. Uh, if they live here on the northern half of the island, uh, uh, yeah, the don't want to be caught driving out in this storm system. You definitely, at this time, want to be hunkered down. Many of the businesses have already closed uh, in anticipation of this storm system. And uh, really, it's just going to fly through here through the evening hours. This is showing right around 6 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Typhoon strength winds around the Amami Islands. You're really just going to be absolutely impacted by this if we rewind it just a little bit here going to about 3 p.m. Uh, that's when we're going to be seeing the bulk of the winds across most of Okinawa Hanto here as the storm system skirts the northern end of the island. So uh, yeah those winds of 50 knots are greater very well likely but the good news is that this storm system is a racing fast and, uh, and that's bad and good news. Bad news is that when these winds descend upon you it, it's going to be kind of like a very large tornado out. With these winds around that center of the eye wall very intense but conditions a little bit farther away well uh, not so uh, really bad but when it starts to go downhill it is going to go downhill fast now the good news is that it's just going to whip through the southern Japanese islands and conditions will rapidly improve beyond it and by midnight tonight you're going to be seeing much fairer weather. Yeah, That is all for Okinawa right now but I also do want to stress this storm system is not over with after it passes Okinawa. I know we've been stressing that but then it's going to head off there towards the north, impact Jejido and then move into to western portions of Kyushu, Fukuoka, surrounding areas, Nagasaki. Uh, you're going to be seeing some typhoon strength winds going through Tuesday evening in through the overnight hours here as that storm system continues to whip through the East China Sea and heads off there through the Korean Strait. So a very intense storm system still uh, beyond Okinawa as it rushes off there towards the northeast. Also going to be seeing some heavy rains. I think there's a very serious risk of flooding here in portions of Kyushu and western Honshu as that continues to push through. And then if we take a look at head into Wednesday, uh, it, it's going to be moving along the western coast of Honshu and heading off there towards the northeast. Northern Honshu is also going to be seeing some pretty heavy rain showers while by a Wednesday afternoon. With that said, stay safe out there, everyone. If you think the winds are not so intense in your location and they don't get in that intense, well, um, think of that as a good thing. You made all the proper precautions. Uh, northern Okinawa and some of the Imami Islands here uh, will not be thinking that this afternoon. That is a guaranteed. We're going to be seeing some pretty serious winds out there. Southern Okinawa, on the other hand, typhoon strength winds very well likely for a short duration out here, even into Naha. But once again, the northern portions, you're really going to see this. So uh, that is all for right now, everybody. Continue to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Also at the website, we're continuing to stream updates there. But uh, really, the most information is flowing us on Facebook and also at the Tropical Information Center. So stay tuned there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.